Hey everybody, Zach Warren here at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois, and behind me is the 2020 Gulfstream Amerilite 279BH. It's a very, very nice bunkhouse. I like call it a bunk room. We'll go over that later when we go inside, but let's start right here at the front of the camper. We do have this great power tongue jack. It's a great convenience feature for getting this on and off the truck. Saves your time cranking. We have our two 20-pound propane tanks here. Now, I always say in my videos, I'm a big advocate for 20-pounders. Reason being, 3 a.m., you run out of propane. It's a lot easier to go to a 24-hour Walmart and exchange your 20-pounders than it is to find someone to fill your 30-pounders in the middle of the night. Now, we are going to be Furion slash Zamp Solar Ready on all these for you dry campers, you boondockers, so we can trickle charge your battery with a solar panel uh, right out here. Now, coming around, we do have that beautiful gray, white, blue color scheme coming all the way back with that nice modern Amerilite logo and that bright blue right here. Now, coming to the back, we do have a little storage compartment right here. This is great for, you know, storing an extra tote, maybe uh, some extra tools for the outside, possibly even if you're black tank hose if you chose to. You do have the cable going in right now, as we all know that more and more uh, campsites are getting cable for their customers. Now, if you don't want to store your black tank hose in there, you can do it right here in the tube bumper with the spare tire on the back. Spare tire is always important in case you have a blowout flat tire. It's a nice safety thing, gets you off the road. Now, coming around to this side, we have an absolutely gorgeous, huge outdoor kitchen. Now, this is not just a wet bar. This is actually going to have your fridge right here. Lots of room in here including a little freezer up there for your ice, great for beer, soda, water, sink, storage, and you have this little two burner cooktop here for cooking. <coughs> Put yourself a cast iron griddle on here, make yourself some pancakes and eggs in the morning or grill up some burgers in the afternoon. It's a great little thing out here. And then of course you have this cover in case it's raining out here. We do have a full power awning right up here. So it's all push of a button, no manual awning. And then what I absolutely love are these grab handles right here and these solid steps. They're very solid. I love it for big guys like me or if you have a hard time getting upstairs. They do fold right up into the camper. Very nice storage. Don't have to worry about road gunk or rust or anything because they're not riding down below with the water and everything. They're up inside. Now we do have our storage compartment right here. This is a pass-through storage. It is a very, very nice size in there. They are going to continue the floor throughout there on the outside. Uh, in the past through not just uh, leave it plywood. In our next video, we're gonna head inside the camper and see what kind of amenities we have inside.